U.S. stocks ended sharply higher on Wednesday as markets globally took heart from the Bank of England announcing that it would start buying long-dated bonds on a temporary basis in order to calm the market chaos caused by the government's new economic plan. But calm proved to be short-lived with U.S. indices futures falling for the seventh time in eight sessions as investors worried about a global downturn from aggressive rate hikes by central banks and weighed the risk of a potential contagion from a turmoil in U.K. markets. Toyota Motor announced its global vehicle production grew at a record pace of 44.3% in August year-on-year, -year, the first increase since March as the sector recovered from the COVID-19 pandemic and production capacity increased, mainly overseas. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway bought another 5.99 million shares of Occidental Petroleum, boosting its stake to 20.9% after the oil company's shares lost about a fifth of their value in less than a month. Google announced it would set up its first cloud region in Greece. The deal is estimated to contribute some 2.2 billion euros to Greece's economic output and create some 20,000 jobs by 2030. Other big tech companies like Microsoft and Amazon have already built data center hubs in the country in the previous years. As Philip Capital Team, we wish you happy and healthy days.